Some of you have probably already seen the hint I've given for this video. If you guessed carrot cookie, which was pretty obvious, then you're correct. I was suggested to create a fall doll and decided to create the carrot cookie from the video game Cookie Run. Instead of her regular farmer outfit, I decided to create her in her bouncy bunny costume. I guess I kind of established fall with orange, brown, and little animals. So this carrot cookie was perfect for this project. Let's start off with creating the clothes. If you followed me on Instagram, you already know that I am not the best at making clothes. But I decided to use this onesie pattern that I created myself for a doll I created for my Valentine's Day swap I hosted a while back. I begin with outlining the pattern on this washed hoodie. Since there won't be any openings on this onesie piece, I can go ahead and attach everything together, except the head opening. I'll attach the hoodie later. After that, I go ahead and create a lot of hair wefts because I am making two ponytails today. I used Mod Podge and a plastic palette scraper to create some wefts after unraveling and brushing out the yarn with a pet brush and then flat ironing. Now, as you can see, her hair has two carrot pigtails. I want to make the hoodie big enough to go over the pigtails, but that's not possible. So instead, I decided to make the pigtails detachable. So I take some index cards, cut it into my desired length, and glue the ends together. I take a sewing pin and poke it through the index triangle that I have created. Now I fill it in with some hot glue and done. A base has been created. Now I wrap the wefts around the base over and over until I have her pigtails. It's a little messy, but it still works.
Now, before I sprayed my first layer of MSC, I had heated the head with a blow dryer because I was drying the water off. And I wondered if the heat from the blow dryer would help with the MSC, and it did. I wanted to try this out more whenever it was winter time to see if it would have the same effect. On to the face up. After spraying one coat of MSC, I'm going in with my Derwent color pencil to outline the eyelashes. Since she has white eyelashes, I decided to outline first before going in with my General's White Chalk Pastel pencil. Now, I'm going in with a pastel called Red Oxide for her blushing. I'm going to repeat the process again after spraying MSC. So this is the first layer of color before MSC. I am now going in with a darker orange for her iris and adding highlights here and there. The second spray of MSC didn't cure correctly on one side, so I tried the blow dryer method again before spraying the third layer of MSC. After the face up, of course, we start on the hair. I take a stronger glue to put the wefts on the head. I didn't record this process because I already knew I was gonna mess up, and I totally did. But I don't care, I think she still looks cute.
I forgot to say that I cut off her ponytails really, really close to the rubber band and then inserted her carrot ponytails and that's how it looks. So after fixing her hoodie, I then attached everything together and she's all done. This actually used to be an old repaint of mine when I first started out. And I'll probably show a couple pictures here. So I'm actually pretty excited that she turned out this way, even though the onesie isn't that good, but it's still all right. <laughs> 